All right. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, this is Supriya Bandal, and today we're gonna discuss image recognition pipeline in AWS. So we'll be looking at uh, AWS's recognition API, and uh, since we're using Python, so we're gonna use a Boto3 library for this particular project. Uh, so what is the Boto3 library? So it is AWS's Python SDK that connects AWS services. And then services that we have used for this project is recognition API, EC2 instances, S3 bucket, SQS queue, and the IAM user. So this is our pro pro project problem statement. So it's very simple. Like we have this S3 bucket and there are a uh, uh, number of images that, are, that, are, that have been saved in this bucket by other user. And he has kept this um, S3 bucket privacy settings to public. And then so that we can act. So we have to create two instances over here. Uh, that is EC2 instance A and EC2 instance B. We can name anything you want, and then uh, on first instance we're gonna instance we're gonna do a car recognition. We're gonna retrieve uh, images from S3 bucket, and then we're gonna do the object detection on those images. And if that image is that if that image um detect with the uh, car, and then we're gonna send uh, SQS message uh, SQS message queue that uh, this image uh, has a car, and then we're gonna send the name of that image to the SQS. And then we're gonna do that for all the images for the from the S3 bucket. All right, and simply what EC2 instance B is gonna do that it's just gonna um, retrieve the names that uh, that has been sent to SQS from uh, SQS by instance one. That is gonna just read those names and that's just gonna retrieve that particular image only from S3 bucket and go gonna do the text detection. And this is gonna uh, extract that text from that particular image using AWS recognition API again and then simply we're gonna print the text uh, detected into the output file and and i think that's it so let's get started so in aws instance one we're gonna since we're using boto3 library you just have to go ahead and import that and then for exception error you can use boto for a client here and then um here we're just gonna create the clients for boto3 s3 bucket sqs and then it's just simply gonna passing uh, your a uh, queue url that you have to create in your, your AWS account and then pass the bucket name that is uh, globally created. And then uh, you just have to uh, list, uh, I'm just passing, like, getting the list of uh, objects from the key that is the image name of the uh, images of the uh, images uh, from the S3 bucket. And then we're gonna process all those images from this bucket uh, one by one who has extension um, JPEG and PNG both. So. And then we're just gonna uh, create one response object over here. And then since we're using recognition, we have to build the client for that as well. And again, pass the region, which, which is very important. And especially if you look at okay, here, we, we use the detect label uh, module for uh, getting the objects. And then if in that object, if you find the name, uh, label name with a car, uh, more than confidence 90, then we're gonna print the print that particular name of the uh, image and then send the message to Q that uh, this image uh, has been detected with the car and then we're gonna come out of the loop and I, th I think that's it and then at the end once all the images are has been um, uh, detected then it's gonna send a message to sqs with the message body minus one okay moving forward to instance two similarly we're gonna uh, build the client for s3 sqs and recognition um, services and then simply pa um, defining qrl and bucket name and then we're just continuously gonna uh, loop through over each messages from the sqs and we're just gonna here if you can see like i've just uh, i'm just gonna get the messages from the sqs and then um here i have mentioned uh, I, here i have uh, uh, implemented uh, uh, the loop uh, that will terminate the process but when it when it will read the message with the minus one uh, from the sqs message body uh, i have put the one condition uh, it should not uh, break the loop before processing other images. So this message only will work when it is the last message in the queue. So it should be the last message. That means uh, there will be all, all, only one message in the queue and then only this uh, block is gonna work and then it's gonna come out of the uh, loop already. And here, uh, again, for JPEG and PNG extensions, we're gonna get the object from the, we're gonna check the extensions and then we're gonna read the objects from the S3 bucket. Um, so whatever objects we have uh, gotten from the SQS, we're gonna get that object from the S3. If, the, if you find that object same uh, image name, then we're gonna uh, uh, get that object. And then we're gonna do the uh, way here, we're again building the response object for text detection using the recognition. And then um, uh, we simply gonna write that text from that image 
we're gonna use the line function and then we're just storing that uh, text detected text in the de detected text over here and then whatever detected text we got we're gonna just rip it and then just append it to the uh, output dot file and then that's it and once we have uh, process all the images and we only left with them one last image is gonna come out of the loop and it's gonna break the process so let's see how it works so we're gonna require uh, two uh, terminals over here because we're gonna use two instances so you have to go to your instances and then copy your instances so here if you uh, click on first instance and then just connect it and copy the link and then just paste over here and hit enter and you will be into your amazon linux ami and similarly for a second instance go back and then choose the second instance connect copy paste in second instance and you'll be in your amazon linux ami all right if you do ls then you'll see that i already attached that those um aws instances dot py files over here uh, I, I'm, I'm simply using this uh cyberduck okay i have to build the connection over here first uh, once I connect the connection, I can see like what are the files available here. I'm just going to delete this file up. Delete because I want to show how it get generate. So here you can see like there is no output.txt file. So first of all, you have to run the Python 3 AWS dot file. And then simultaneously, you can run your Python 3 dot 2 which is going to start detecting uh, the text simultaneously. So both the instant, instant instances should run in parallel and then it's going to write all the text. And now you can see we got the output.txt file over here. And then I can, I can show you like what is in there. Output.txt, just carry it. And then you can see all the body uh, uh, text written on in this uh, output.txt file. And I think that's it. We successfully got all the text from those images. So if here you can see like car and text detected in our 10.jpg file, and then it is writing the text in front of it. And same for other images. Alrighty, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much.